Avatar, The Last Airbender, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, available at en.wikipedia.org. Avatar The Last Airbender, or Avatar The Legend of Aang in some regions, is an American animated television series created by Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Konietzko with Aaron Ahaz as head writer. It aired on Nickelodeon for three seasons, from February 2005 to July 2008. Avatar is set in an Asiatic-like world in which some people can manipulate the classical elements with psychokinetic variants of the Chinese martial arts known as bending. One individual, the Avatar, is capable of bending all four elements and is responsible for maintaining harmony between the world's four nations. It is presented in a style that combines anime with American cartoons and relies on the imagery of East Asian, South Asian, Inuit, and New World societies. This series is centered around the journey of 12-year-old Aang, the Avatar and the last survivor of his nation, the Air Nomads, along with his friends Sokka, Katara, and later on Toph, as they strive to end the Fire Nation's war against the other nations of the world. It also follows the story of Zuko, the exiled prince of the Fire Nation, seeking to restore his lost honor by capturing Aang, accompanied by his wise uncle Iroh, and later that of his ambitious sister Azula. Avatar The Last Airbender was commercially successful and was acclaimed by audiences and critics, who praised its art direction, soundtrack, cultural references, humor, characters, and themes. These concepts rarely touched on in youth entertainment, such as war, genocide, colonialism, totalitarianism, and free choice. It was nominated for, and won, five Annie Awards, a Genesis Award, a Primetime Emmy Award, a Kids' Choice Award, and a Peabody Award. As of 2020, a number of critics have referred to Avatar as one of the best animated television series of all time. The extended Avatar franchise includes an ongoing comics series, an animated sequel series, a prequel novel series, and a live-action film, as well as an upcoming live-action remake of the show by its original creators to be produced for Netflix. The complete series was released on Blu-ray in June 2018 in honor of the 10th anniversary of its finale and was made available to stream on Netflix in the United States in May 2020 and on CBS All Access in June 2020. Contents Series Overview Setting Synopsis Episodes Development Conception and Production Influences Themes Other Media Books Video Games Film Adaptation Sequel Series Live Action Remake Merchandise Reception Ratings Critical Response Legacy Awards and Nominations References External Links Series Overview Setting. Avatar The Last Airbender is set in a world where human civilization consists of four nations, named after the four classical elements, the Water Tribes, the Earth Kingdom, the Fire Nation, and the Air Nomads. In each nation, certain people, known as benders, waterbenders, earthbenders, firebenders, and airbenders, have the ability to telekinetically manipulate and control their nation's element using martial arts. The Avatar is the only person with the ability to bend all four elements. The Avatar is an international arbiter whose duty it is to maintain harmony among the four nations and act as a mediator between humans and spirits. When the Avatar dies, their spirit is reincarnated into the next Avatar, who will be from the next nation in a set order that is known as the Avatar Cycle. Fire Nation, Air Nomads, Water Tribe, and Earth Kingdom. An avatar is required to master each bending art, beginning with the element of their home nation and proceeding to learn the others in the order of the avatar cycle, starting at the age of 16. Avatars also possess the ability to enter a condition known as the avatar state, in which they gain knowledge and abilities of all past avatars. Although it is when they are most powerful, if an avatar were ever to be killed while in the avatar state, the reincarnation cycle would end, and the Avatar would never again be reborn. Synopsis A century ago, Fire Lord Sozin, ruler of the Fire Nation, launched a world war to expand his nation's empire. 
the young avatar Aang, afraid of his new responsibilities, fled his home. He was forced into the ocean by a storm and encased himself in suspended animation in an iceberg near the South Pole. Sozin, knowing that Avatar must be an air nomad, carried out a genocide against the air nomads and continued his world conquest. One hundred years later, Katara and Sokka, teenagers of the Southern Water Tribe, find Aang and revive him. In the first season, Aang travels with Katara and Sokka to the Northern Water Tribe so he can learn waterbending and be prepared to defeat the Fire Nation. Prince Zuko, the banished son of current Fire Lord Ozai, pursues them, accompanied by his uncle Iroh, hoping to capture the Avatar to restore his honor. Aang is also pursued by Zhao, a Fire Nation admiral intending to win Ozai's favor. When Zhao's navy attacks the Northern Water Tribe, Zhao kills the Moon Spirit. Yue, the princess of the tribe, sacrifices her life to revive it, and Aang drives off the enemy fleet. In the second season, Aang learns earthbending from Toph Beifong, a blind 12-year-old earthbending prodigy. Zuko and Iroh, cast out by the Fire Lord, become refugees in the Earth Kingdom, settling in the capital city of Ba Sing Se. Both groups are pursued by Azula, Zuko's sister. Aang's group travels to Ba Sing Se to seek the Earth King's support for an attack on the Fire Nation during an upcoming solar eclipse, during which firebenders will be powerless. But Azula instigates a coup, bringing the city under Fire Nation control, and Zuko sides with his sister. In the third season, Aang and his allies invade the Fire Nation capital during the solar eclipse, but are forced to retreat. Zuko abandons the Fire Nation to join Aang and teach him firebending. Aang, a pacifist, wrestles with the possibility that he will have to kill Ozai to end the war. When a comet arrives that magnifies Firebender's power, Aang confronts Ozai and uses his Avatar powers to strip Ozai of his Firebending ability. Meanwhile, Aang's friends liberate Ba Sing Se, destroy the Fire Nation airship fleet, and capture Azula. Zuko is crowned the new Fire Lord and ends the war. Episodes the series consists of 61 episodes. The first, an hour-long premiere, aired on February 21st, 2005 on Nickelodeon. The series concluded with a two-hour television movie broadcast on July 19th, 2008. Each season of the series is known as a book, in which each episode is referred to as a chapter. Each book takes its name from one of the elements Aang must master, water, earth, and fire. The show's first two seasons each consist of 20 episodes, and the third season has 21. The entire series has been released on DVD in regions 1, 2, and 4. As of May 2020, the complete series is available on Netflix in the United States. It became the most popular show on U.S. Netflix within the first week of its release there, despite not being featured on the main page. In New Zealand, the complete series is also available on Sky Television's streaming service, Neon. Later in June 2020, the complete series also became available on CBS All Access. Development, Conception and Production Avatar The Last Airbender was co-created and produced by Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Konietzko at Nickelodeon Animation Studios in Burbank, California. Its animation was mostly done by South Korean studios JM Animation, Dr. Movie, and MOI Animation. According to Konietzko, the series was conceived in early 2001 when he took an old sketch of a balding, middle-aged man and imagined the man as a child. He drew the character herding bison in the sky and showed the sketch to DiMartino, who was watching a documentary about explorers trapped at the South Pole. Konietzko described their early development of the concept there's an air guy, along with these water people, trapped in a snowy wasteland. And maybe some fire people are pressing down on them. The co-creators successfully pitched the idea to Nickelodeon vice president and executive producer Eric Coleman two weeks later. The series was introduced to the public in a teaser reel at Comic-Con 2004 and premiered on February 21st, 2005. In an interview, Konietzko said, 
Mike and I were really interested in other epic legends and lore properties, like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, but we knew that we wanted to take a different approach to that type of genre. Our love for Japanese anime, Hong Kong action and kung fu cinema, yoga, and Eastern philosophies led to the initial inspiration for Avatar The Last Airbender. Influences Fictional locations in the show are based on the architecture and designs of real locations. For example, the creators modeled the city of Ba Sing Se off the Forbidden City in China. The series is notable for borrowing extensively from East Asian art and mythology for its universe. Its creators employed cultural consultants Edwin Zane and calligrapher Su Leung Li to help determine its art direction and settings. Its character designs are influenced by Chinese art and history, Hinduism, Taoism, Buddhism, and yoga. Jeremy Zuckerman and Benjamin Wynn composed the series' music and sound. They experimented with a wide range of instruments, including the guzheng, pipa, and duduk to match the show's Asia-influenced setting. The art style of the fictitious locations used in the series are based on real locations in Asia. Sites such as the Forbidden City and the Great Wall of China in Beijing were inspirations for the Earth Kingdom city of Ba Sing Se, and Water Tribe locations were based on Inuit and Saraniki cultures. According to writer Aaron Ehaz, early Fire Nation designs were based on Japanese culture. To avoid accidentally making broad statements, they redesigned many settings and peoples to be more broadly inspired. For the final design, the creators went with a more Chinese style for the Fire Nation's clothing and architecture. For instance, the Fire Temple was based on the Yellow Crane Tower, as its flame-like architectural elements were a perfect motif for the Fire Nation architecture, according to the creators. The fighting styles employed by the show's characters are derived from Chinese martial arts, for which the creators employed Sifu Kisu of the Harmonious Fist Chinese Athletic Association as a consultant. Each fighting style is unique to the benders, who use them or characters who are aligned to a certain element. For example, practitioners of waterbending use movements influenced by Tai Chi and focused on alignment, body structure, breath, and visualization. Hungar was the inspiration for practitioners of earthbending and was chosen for its firmly rooted stances and powerful strikes as a representation of the solidity of earth. Northern Shaolin, which uses strong arm and leg movements, was chosen to represent firebending. Bagua, which uses dynamic circular movements and quick directional changes, was used for airbending. The Chu Gar Southern Praying Mantis style can be seen practiced by the earthbender Toph, who develops a unique fighting style as a result of her blindness. Asian cinema influenced the presentation of these martial art bending moves. Themes the series explored many concepts rarely touched on in youth entertainment, including issues relating to war, genocide, imperialism, and totalitarianism, gender discrimination and female empowerment, marginalization and oppression, as well as the philosophical questions surrounding fate, destiny, and free will. The show is set during a period where the entire world is engulfed in an imperialistic war initiated by the Fire Nation. While war is a constant backdrop, the show depicts these effects through the eyes of common people. The oppressed Earth Kingdom citizens, as well as brainwashed Fire Nation schoolchildren, to show how war makes victims of everyone. And while the Fire Nation is presented as the instigator of violence, the show also depicts the systemic inequality experienced by residents in the Earth Kingdom city of Ba Sing Se, as well as the nefarious activities of the city's secret police. These situations show the corrupting nature of power and the nuances of good and evil. The show introduces viewers to genocide early on when protagonist Aang visits his home in the Southern Air Temple. He arrives to discover his people have been massacred and allows him to display a range of emotions from rage to loss. The character Zuko and his relationship with his father and uncle Iroh is the series' main redemption arc, and represents the show's message that destiny and fate are not binding or set by other people, but can be changed. In Season 2, he struggles to conform to the destiny and path determined by his father, 
but Ira prods him, asking, Who are you? What do you want? The show also represents a diverse cast of characters in order to tackle the issue of marginalization. For example, in introducing a blind character like Toph and a paraplegic boy like Teo, the show depicted characters with vulnerabilities overcoming their physical and societal limitations. This is also true when it comes to the show's female characters. For example, female protagonist Katara faces systemic sexism when she reaches the Northern Water Tribe to learn waterbending. In another instance, her brother Sokka is initially dismissive of the all-female Kyoshi warriors, but learns to respect and appreciate their skills. According to Kirk Hamilton of Kotaku, these themes represent the show's message that it's more important to be yourself than to hew the roles society expects of you. Other Media Books Several books based on the show have been published. Dark Horse Comics published an art book titled Avatar The Last Airbender, The Art of Animated Series, on June 2nd, 2010, with 184 pages of original art from the series. Several comic book short stories were published in Nickelodeon Magazine, and Dark Horse published Avatar The Last Airbender, The Lost Adventures, a collection of these new comics, on June 15th, 2011. Dark Horse published a graphic novel series by Gene Yang that continues Aang's story after the Hundred Years' War. Avatar The Last Airbender, The Promise, published in three volumes in 2012, explores the fate of the Fire Nation colonies that became the Legend of Korra's United Republic. This series was translated into Hebrew in 2016 and 2017. A second set of three comic books, Avatar The Last Airbender The Search, focuses on Zuko and Azula and the fate of their mother, Ursa. The second set was translated into Hebrew in 2018 and 2019. The third set, Avatar The Last Airbender The Rift, shifts the focus to Aang, the creation of Republic City, and Toph's relationship with her family. The Rift was followed by Avatar The Last Airbender Smoke and Shadow, about a resistance force in the Fire Nation against Fire Lord Zuko, who at the end of the original series assumed the throne. The fifth graphic novel was Avatar The Last Airbender North and South, which follows the events of Smoke and Shadow and is about Katara and Sokka returning to the Water Tribe to see various changes to their homeland. The next planned graphic novel is titled Imbalance and is planned to be released in October 2018. The series explores the emerging conflict between the benders and non-benders that becomes the center for the conflict in the first season of the sequel, The Legend of Korra. Unlike the previous five books, it will not be written by Gene Yang. A two-part young adult novel series focusing on Avatar Kyoshi, written by F.C. Yi, was published in 2019 by Abrams Children's Books. The first book of the Kiyoshi novels is Avatar The Last Airbender, The Rise of Kiyoshi. The second part, The Shadow of Kiyoshi, is scheduled to be published in 2020. Video Games A video game trilogy based on the series has been released. The Avatar The Last Airbender video game was released on October 10th, 2006, and Avatar The Last Airbender The Burning Earth was released on October 16th, 2007. Avatar The Last Airbender Into the Inferno was released on October 13, 2008. Avatar The Legends of the Arena, a massively multiplayer online role-playing game for Microsoft Windows, was released on September 15, 2008 by Nickelodeon. Players can create their own character and interact with other players around the world. Avatar The Last Airbender was THQ's best-selling Nickelodeon game in 2006 and was one of Sony CEA's greatest hits. Film Adaptation The series' first season was the basis of the 2010 live-action film The Last Airbender, which was written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan. It was intended to, as the first of a trilogy of films, each of which would be based on one of the three television seasons. The film was universally panned for its writing, acting, whitewashed cast, and Shyamalan's direction. It earned a 5% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes, as well as five Razzies at the 31st Golden Raspberry Awards, including Worst Picture, and some critics described it as one of the worst films ever made. Although the film initially shared the title of the television series, 
The title of The Last Airbenders was used because producer feared it would be confused with James Cameron's film Avatar. The Last Airbender stars Noah Ringer as Aang, Nicola Peltz as Katara, Jackson Rathbone as Sokka, Dev Patel as Zuko, and Sean Tobe as Iroh. Sequel Series The Legend of Korra, a sequel series to Avatar The Last Airbender, premiered on Nickelodeon on April 14, 2012. It was written and produced by Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Konietzko, the creators and producers of the original series. The show was initially titled Avatar The Legend of Korra, then The Last Airbender Legend of Korra. Its events occur 70 years after the end of Avatar The Last Airbender. The series' protagonist is Korra, a 17-year-old woman from the Southern Water Tribe who is the incarnation of the Avatar after Aang's death. Live-action remake Netflix announced in September 2018 that a reimagined live-action remake of Avatar was to start production in 2019. The series' original creators, DiMartino and Konietzko, are to be the executive producers and showrunners. They said that they intended to adapt the series with a culturally appropriate, non-whitewashed cast. Jeremy Zuckerman, who composed music for the original show, will also be returning to do music for the remake. Merchandise Merchandising for the series included action figures, a trading card game, three video games, stuffed animals distributed by Paramount Parks, and two Lego sets. Reception Ratings Avatar The Last Airbender was the highest rated animated television series in its demographic at its premiere. An average of 3.1 million viewers watched each new episode. It had 5.6 million viewers for its highest rated episode, and was a highly rated part of the Nicktoons lineup but beyond its 6 to 11 year old target demographic. A one hour special, The Secret of the Fire Nation, consisting of the episodes The Serpent's Pass and The Drill, aired on September 15, 2006, and attracted 5.1 million viewers. According to the Nielsen Media Research, the special was the highest-rated cable television program that week. In 2007, Avatar The Last Airbender was syndicated to more than 105 countries and was one of Nickelodeon's top-rated programs. The series ranked first on Nickelodeon in Germany, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Colombia. The four-part series finale, Sozin's Comet, had the series' highest ratings. Its first airing averaged 5.6 million viewers, 95% more than Nickelodeon had in mid-July 2007. During the week of July 14th, it was the most viewed program by the under-14 demographic. The finale's popularity was reflected in online media, Rise of the Phoenix King a Nick.com online game based on Sozin's Comet. It had almost 815,000 gameplays in three days. IGN rated the series 35th on its list of top 100 animated TV shows. Critical Response Avatar The Last Airbender received widespread critical acclaim. As of May 2020, the show has a critics score of 100% on Rotten Tomatoes based on 20 reviews. Max Nicholson of IGN called it a must-watch and described it as one of the greatest animated series of all time. Nick Hartel of DVD Talk called the series a remarkable, child-friendly show whose legacy should endure for years to come. Eric Amaya of Bleeding Cool described the series as impressive in its sophistication and fantastic. Henry Glasheen of Slug Magazine called the series adventurous and exciting, a classic, and occasionally moving. According to Brittany Lovely of Hypable, it tells complex and beautiful stories. Joe Corey of Inside Pulse described the series as an anime-action hybrid. Chris Mitchell of Popzara called it one of the best shows to air on Nickelodeon, praising the series' background music and voice acting. D.F. Smith of IGN recommended it to viewers who enjoy action-adventure cartoons. Rob Keyes of Screen Rant called the series one of the greatest cartoons ever made. Mike Noyes of Inside Pulse recommended it to viewers who enjoy great adventure. Gord Lacey of TV Shows on DVD.com called the series one of the finest animated shows ever.
According to Todd Douglas Jr. of DVD Talk, adults will enjoy the series as much as children do. Joshua Miller of Chud.com called it phenomenal and one of the most well-animated programs, children's or adult, American TV has ever had. According to Miller, the series is heavily influenced by anime. Tim Jansen of Cinefantastique described it as one of the most engaging animated shows produced. Dennis Amith of J! E-N-T called the series one of the best animated TV series shown in the U.S. by American creators. Amith praised its sophisticated storylines, edginess, humor, and action. Franco Cricket Tay of Nerd Society described Avatar The Last Airbender as one of the best cartoon he had ever seen, recommending the series for its characters and plot. Scott Phil of Wired called the series engaging and its setting influenced by the Eastern world fantastic. Kirk Hamilton of Kotaku said the series should be part of the golden age of television and recommended the sophisticated kids show to others. The show's writing and theme have been widely praised by critics. Michael S. Mamano of Den of Geek called the plot smartly written and praised the animation. Nicole Clark, writing for Vice News, wrote that the show's narrative depth was its greatest asset and praised the story's emotional authenticity and how it exposes very young viewers to darker subject matter like genocide and authoritarianism while giving them a framework for understanding these issues. Jennifer Rosenberg of Comic Mix liked the program's emphasis on family, friends, community, and education. According to Nick Hartel, the series touches on themes of genocide and self-doubt without frightening younger children. Rogue characters are redeemable, sending an important message that people can change and are not bonded to destiny. Chris Mitchell called the plot fantastic. D.F. Smith compared the series plot to Japanese action cartoons, calling its tone and dialogue very American and praising the humor, leavening an epic, dramatic theme suitable for all ages. Rob Keyes also praised the series' humor and affecting plot. Quote, will capture your hearts. End quote. According to Mike Noyes, the series amalgamates elements of classic fantasy epics. Todd Douglas Jr. called the plot engaging, well thought out, and meaningful. The series' concept is well realized with a consistent story. Douglas wrote that the characters a real sense of progression and praised the writers for their humor, drama, and emotion. Joshua Miller called the series surprisingly dark considering its silly theme. The plot is livelier than that of Lost and, similar to the latter show, emphasizes character development. According to Miller, its writing was true adult levels of storytelling. Tim Jansen described the series as more than fantasy and superhero themed, seeing the characters as central and relatable. Cricket Tay praised the series' use of Buddhist philosophies and the diverse presentation of its themes of courage and life. Kirk Hamilton praises the series for expressing towards its audience to be themselves and for its quiet progressivism. Critics also praise Avatar The Last Airbender's character development, art, animation, and choreography. Eric Amaya enjoyed the expressive animation that complements the writing. According to Amaya, the elements were influenced by Hayao Miyazaki. Todd Douglas Jr. called the character development interesting, while Nicole Clark wrote that the show managed to do what so few shows even today have. Assemble a cast of characters that depict the world as it is with a range of identities and experiences. Jennifer Rosenberg praised the series' portrayal of females as strong, responsible, and intelligent. According to Joshua Miller, the Bender character's use of bending for everyday activities brings depth and believability to the Avatar world. Miller called the series' designs rich and immersive, with each nation having its own detailed look. He praised the action scenes as well-rendered, comparing the development of the Avatar world to that of the Lord of the Rings, and the fight choreography as wonderful in its most minor details. D.F. Smith enjoyed the series' painstaking backgrounds. Cricket Tay praised each episode's color palette and the choreography's combination of martial arts and magic. Nick Hartel criticized the animation, although he found it an improvement over previous Nickelodeon shows.
Chris Mitchell called the animation fluid. Cricket Tay agreed, noting its manga influence. According to Brittany Lovely, non-bender characters in battle are overshadowed by their bender counterparts. Joe Corey called the animation's action and environments a great achievement, and Rob Keyes praised the series' fight choreography. According to Kirk Hamilton, the action sequences in the series are amazing, while being child-appropriate and exciting. Legacy Avatar The Last Airbender had a big impact on how networks viewed animated programs, with subsequent kids' shows blurring the lines between kids' and adult shows. Netflix's The Dragon Prince, co-created and written by Aaron Ahaz, in particular, is heavily inspired by The Last Airbender and also stars Jack DeSena. As of 2020, a number of critics have referred to Avatar The Last Airbender as one of the best animated television series of all time. In 2013, TV Guide included Avatar among the 60 greatest cartoon of all time list. In 2018, Vanity Fair ranked the series as the 11th best animated TV show. Avatar was ranked the 36th best animated series on IndieWire's 2018 list of the 50 best animated series of all time. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash buy hyphen sa slash 3.0. I'm Pingrob, and I believe Aang can save the world.